As much as we'd like to believe all of our favorite video game characters were magically plucked from the land of imagination, a ton of fictional game characters are actually based on real people. Here are 12 of the best. If this list looks familiar, it's possible you saw our Dorkly.com article from 2014, or you saw a video by a boulder tooth plagiarist with the eyes of a dead sociopathic shark who used the article without credit or permission, even though he apparently thinks Samus Aran's name is Metroid. <laughs> anyway. Number one, Kratos is based on Ed Norton from American History X. Sure, when you're trying to decide the look of your hero for your new game franchise set in mythological Greece, why wouldn't your first thought be a neo nazi fied Ed Norton? It took a long time for us to figure out what Kratos would look like, and ultimately we took inspiration from Edward Norton in American History X when he played a Nazi. There's this scene where the cops arrest him and you can just see how buffed and built he's gotten. I showed that to the artist and I said, okay, that sense of power and aggression that you can just see in his face, can we take that, the essence of what he's exuding, and turn it into a character that fits into this Greek mythology world? I mean, this approach sort of ignores the context of the scene, but let's just say it does not provide the best example for your protagonist that you want the audience to sympathize with. Then again, both end up as regret-filled buff dudes who have markings on their body that serve as a reminder of their shameful, hate-filled past. Number two, Sonic the Hedgehog is based on Bill Clinton and Michael Jackson. The early 90s had two great heroes, accomplishing incredible feats like freaking people out who remember the Jackson 5 and playing a mean saxophone. Michael Jackson and Bill Clinton, of course. But what if they were combined? Combined into a single character. And what if that character were a blue naked hedgehog who ran real fast? According to Sonic creator Naoto Oshima, Sonic's get it done attitude is based on Bill Clinton's similar demeanor and reputation, and his belted boots are based off the ones worn by Michael Jackson in his bad video. Except using the colors of Santa Claus, because they needed yet another person who seems to have inappropriate access to sleeping children. Number three, Dr. Robotnik is based on Teddy Roosevelt. Sonic's bespeckled mustache-having nemesis is none other than the United States 26th President Theodore Roosevelt. Like Robotnik, he too had a fondness for relentlessly hunting down forest animals. Sadly, he turned very few of them into robotic minions. It should be noted that Sonic creator Naoto Oshima originally did design Robotnik a bit differently. Well, he was pretty much the same, but he also wore a bee costume? Since the most terrifying thing imaginable is Teddy Roosevelt dressed like a bee for no reason. Number four, Boo is based on Takashi Tezuka's wife. Don't worry, Takashi Tezuka's wife is still alive, as far as I know, but the behavior of Boo's in Nintendo games are directly based on his wife. Shigeru Miyamoto and he would often work long hours in games back in the 80s, and whenever Shigeru saw Tezuka's wife, she was incredibly shy. But when Tezuka would come home, she would sometimes angrily yell at him for always working such long hours. Implication being when Shiguro saw her, she was shy and meek, just like Booze, but when she wasn't in view, she would become aggressive, just like Booze. Number 5. Balrog is based on Mike Tyson. This one would have been a lot more obvious from the get-go if North America had stuck with the original names of Street Fighter 2 characters. Balrog's actual name is... M. Bison, and the character we know as M. Bison is actually Vega, and the character we know as Vega is actually Balrog. Way to not confuse anyone, Capcom translators. Anyway, yeah, his name is M. Bison, and not very subtle play on Mike Tyson. There's also the fact that he's a boxer with the same general appearance and everyone's okay as the hangover cameo in Love of Pigeons. We're assuming. Number six, Mortal Kombat's Johnny Cage is based on Jean-Claude Van Damme. For the longest time, I was under the impression that Johnny Cage was basically just a knockoff Nicolas Cage. I mean, same last name, right? What else could there be? Turns out, quite a bit. He's based on Belgian martial arts guy and sometimes guile, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yes, the muscles from Brussels is the karate-loving movie star inspiration for Mortal Kombat's sunglassed character. Specifically, his performance in Bloodsport was the major influence on Johnny Cage's outfit and his legendary split punch. Number seven, Nathan Drake is based on Johnny Knoxville. Rough and tumble video game Indiana Jones type Nathan Drake actually takes his inspiration from someone far more unlikely. Johnny Knoxville. According to designer Richard Lemichard, much of Drake's appearance and attitude were based on everyone's favorite guy who got famous for getting punched in the balls repeatedly. But of course there are other influences, or else Drake would have been laughing a lot more as Rockets got shot up his butt. There are sprinkles of Harrison Ford and Bruce Willis in him, as well as Cary Grant's romantic hero persona, according to creative director Amy Hennig. Basically, he's everyone you thought was cool when you were 15. I always thought that he kind of looked like Breck and Meyer mixed with Nathan Fillion mixed with a catcher's mate. Number 8. Ganondorf is based on Christopher Lambert. Ocarina of Time is the first Zelda game to introduce us to the humanesque form of Ganon, Ganondorf. And according to Satoru Takizawa, the big visual inspiration for the character was Highlander star Christopher Lambert. The original thought process for Ganondorf was that he still had some good aspects in him. 
parallel being Rao and the Fist of the North Star, but his brows and general facial makeup is all Lambert. Number 9. Samus Aran is based on Kim Basinger and Pele. Prior to Super Metroid, Nintendo didn't really have to define Samus without her power armor. The character was originally a half-hearted riff on Ripley from Aliens, but with the SNES having greater graphical capabilities, they had to decide what Samus would look like beyond a sort of humanish figure with green hair. They settled on actress Kim Basinger, giving Samus her physique and long blonde hair, and the last name Aaron is based on Edson Arantes Nascimento, the birth name of Brazilian football star Pele. Number 10. Lara Croft is based on Nina Cherry. Believe it or not, the massive-chested polygonal heroine Lara Croft is based on the actual human being being pop star Nina Cherry. Of course, Cherry doesn't have Croft's nutso bosom or her terrifying sharp angles, but she and her dress style were early inspirations for Croft, back when her design was a bit more muscular and clothes having. Other big influences for the titular Tomb Raider were the comic book character Tank Girl, Indiana Jones, and the desire to see how little effort it would really take to make a bunch of teenage boys get turned on by a bunch of low-res polygons. Number 11, Morden Solus is based on Clint Eastwood. Everyone's favorite Solarian, Morden Solus is based on none other than the wrinkliest cowboy in Hollywood, Clint Eastwood. The original idea for the Solarians was to be Mass Effect's take on the Greys, the stereotypical idea of extraterrestrials. But they decided to get a little more specific and unique with Morden, and decided Clint Eastwood had the right look. The shape of his head, the mouth, and the eyes are all pretty spot on. Why did it have to be Clint Eastwood? It had to be him. Somebody else would have looked totally wrong. Number 12, Fei Long, Liu Kang, Martial Law, and Hitman Lee are all based on Bruce Lee. You know who else is based on Bruce Lee? Everyone, so many characters. If you've got a fighting game, it's almost unthinkable to not have one character based on Bruce Lee. Bonus, every 80s action game character is based off of an action movie, although mostly Stallone and Schwarzenegger.